You better say salams when I'm in your town, I'm J. Dean and you know I don't mess around so let me break it down so you can keep hating. I ain't got a problem with these haters, only got a clean diet, only eats a beat, I never eat bacon. Got the club going up on a Tuesday, got your girl in the cut of she choose. Got the moss going up on a Friday, I be chilling with my brothers down the highway. Moss going up, see the mesh is getting back now. Jay Dean is one half of Dean Squad, a Canadian duo who take the lyrics of popular rap songs and give them an Islamic twist. They're huge online, but as we found out, hey, that's me. <laughs> Dean Squad fans are literally everywhere. I usually just pick like just the the hottest songs out right now. Betty Wap says like I'd be in the kitchen cooking pies with my baby, show her how to whip it because she remixed it for low. Like that's like referring to like drugs and stuff like that. I don't observe the lyrics, you know, they're not really clean spiritually and stuff like that, you know, but number one, the beat is amazing and the melody is amazing. I think I need her, inshallah, I'll keep her. She's a righteous believer. Thousands of young Muslims follow them on Snapchat, Instagram and Facebook. Some even share their own videos using the hashtag Dean Squad. You can identify yourself with it and it's very familiar, like you do these things and it's really comforting that you know that other people are also doing these things and it's just very cool. I like the remake of Trap Queen. Original is a really popular song so you know, manipulating that and putting in some uh, you know, Islamic teachings into it, I think that was genius and it's very catchy. There are lots of strong views about Dean Squad's music. Many of those commenting online, for example, believe the very act of listening to music is forbidden or haram. I consider what I'm doing to be permissible. The main argument that people use to say that music in totality is haram is because, is because it leads you away from the path. I can attest to the, the thousands of messages that I've got on my Facebook page of Muslim youth saying, because of your videos, I've started praying again. I've, I've become more inspired to be a better Muslim. How, how can that be impermissible? Jay-Z songs or whenever, whatever, they usually talk about love and sex and drugs and all that. And if you're starting to like agree with that kind of stuff, then you need to step back and think, yo, this is wrong. But if like Jay-Z songs, you know, he's telling you go, go to Friday prayer, you know, cut your nails, do this, do that. I guess there's nothing really wrong with it, it's all about your intentions. They've used a medium which is like really appealing to young people and most of the time Islamic teachings are in very chunky books and they're not really easy to digest and to read through. It was all a dream, I used to read the books about the Dean, started on this journey, I had to get my soul clean. Then I Jay Dean himself follows the teachings of American Muslim scholars who believe certain forms of music are permissible and that Muslims can identify positively with both their religion and the country that they live in. Most of the time you're hearing this young Muslim has gone off to Syria, this young Muslim has gone off to here and to see two young uh, Muslims, you know, trying to spread uh, a good image and, and the message of Islam is, uh, I really do like that. I do feel like people are thinking, oh, she's probably a jihadist, she's probably an extremist, she's probably this. A few times when I was on the train and stuff like that, I've noticed that like, people not sit next to me. So where does Jay Dean fit into all of that then? Him doing all these remixes, we are connected with everybody else. So we're definitely not oppressors or we're not extremists. So it definitely, his intentions are to show, show us that, to show everybody that we're just normal human beings. And I'm that Muslim rapper, I had to write this remix. Zero to 100, brother, real quick. Worship one God, that's what I do. Street. The music may be popular, but does having an alternative to the mainstream unify listeners or segregate them even further? There's plenty of non-Muslims who, who actually listen to our music. Uh, like I've sometimes I walk down in Canada. There's like a non-Muslim girl. She's like, you're that guy who does the videos. I can, you know, she likes the tunes. Yeah, she likes the tunes. You say my music is haram. Your mom's gonna be the first one about my CD. Oh! Welcome to Mogadishu Cribs. Yo, what's up? This is how I'm living these days. Hundreds of thousands of people are talking about weight trainers on social media, on Instagram, for example. Mr. Skeleton. Es una corriente que se llama street art, ¿no? Que es el arte en las calles, el arte urbano, ¿no? Si utilizas los elementos del graffiti como